Disney has never ever done this until now. The Disney Wonder has come down under and we are embarking on its inaugural Disney Magic at Sea sailing right here in Australia. For the next four nights we'll be living here on the Disney Wonder which is one of Disney's five ships. It has 11 decks, 875 staterooms and can hold up to 2,400 passengers and me and Stace are two of them. We'll be spending a few days sailing on the ship and docking for one day in Hobart before returning back to Sydney. And during that time, we're going to explore everything the Disney Wonder has to offer, including food, restaurants, shows and activities. And make sure you watch through to the end of the video where we will give our final verdict on whether we think it's worth embarking on Disney's Magic at Sea sailings here in Australia and New Zealand. Well, come on, we've got a ship to explore, come on! <laughs> We have made it here to the overseas passenger terminal in Sydney for the inaugural sailing. We've dropped our bags off, which is super easy. And now we're just waiting for our boarding time and taking in the beauty of the ship. Guys, we booked this well over a year ago before we even planned our year of travel. So we are so excited for this. If you've been following us, you'd know we've been on a really, really, really strict budget. We're about to eat unlimited food for four days. And that in itself is crazy exciting. And then of course Disney. How could you not be excited? I think we're about to get on. I'm so excited. Such good vibes, like all the staff, obviously most are Australian here at the port. So they're all very excited, it's their first run. It's happening. <laughs> it's happening. Did they wonder, please, one more Australian Stacy. Well guys, as you can see, we are officially on the Disney Wonder. It is insane. You look out the window, you see the Sydney Opera House. What a view. It doesn't get much better than that. And a pretty successful introduction as well. I think he might have said Roshane. Instead of Roshane. But it's a lot better than Raisin. Alright, I know we've only just got on the ship and there's so much to do. But we're a little bit hungry and like I mentioned before, we're pretty keen on the unlimited food. So we're going to head straight to the buffet. Oh, let's go! Well, I'd say the views on cruise ships don't get much better than this, no. say. And we've not even left the port. <laughs> Harbour Bridge. Opera House. And it has begun, guys. We are having our first lunch on our first ever Disney cruise here at Cabana's right at the very, I'm going to say the back of the ship, one end of the ship with the harbour bridge and some seagulls in the background. It really doesn't get much better. So today's menu for me, I have some pasta with tomato sauce, some mac and cheese, some steak fries, some battered cod and some chicken nuggets. This is called the I'm gonna put on 20 kilos on this cruise <laughs> lunch special. Guys, the elevators have little Mickey arms showing you what level your arms are on. After a pretty good lunch at Cabana's, we're heading to our room for the first time. What do you think it's gonna be like, Stace? I'm excited. <laughs> also, we've been on the ship for about 30 minutes and Stace just said she feels sick, she ate too much. It's, it's gonna, gonna be a long four days. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, my luggage. We're going in. Welcome to our stateroom. We're staying in an interior stateroom, so no views of the outside world. So a little bit claustrophobic, but we're on a Disney cruise. So we're just so happy to be here. The room is pretty spacious for a cruise stateroom. And let's show you around. Now that we've checked out our cabin, we're gonna have a wander around the ship while we wait for the ship to sail away. But there's plenty to see, so we're just gonna explore a few decks and see what we've come across. Guys, let's see how many characters we can spot during the four days of this cruise. We already saw Chippendale as we walked in. We're now looking at Pluto welcoming more guests will we see the two captains captain mickey captain minnie but also will we see some marvel characters that would be really cool now i believe for tax reasons the shop doesn't actually open until an hour after we have left so 
Stace is pretty keen to see what type of pins they have, but we're gonna have to wait until just after the Mickey Save Away party. Now, I believe the Disney Wonder is the biggest ship to have ever traveled underneath the Sydney Harbour Bridge, so we're probably gonna need the four days to explore everything on this ship. Okay, it is creeping closer and closer to the time the ship is set to depart, but before we do, we have to do our mandatory assembly station drill thing. So we're here on deck four at our assembly station, waiting for our drill, and then we can get ready for the ship to leave Sydney. Guys, while we wait for our safety drill, I have a fun fact for you. I believe Disney Cruise Line is the only cruise line to date to get special permission from the US Coast Guard to have not bright orange safety boats, but yellow safety boats. And that is so they can stick to their color scheme of their ships having similar colors to Mickey Mouse. Can you imagine what the ship would look like with bright orange boats? I think it would really throw off the vibe. So on Disney Cruises, they have what's called rotational dine. So unlike Royal Caribbean, which was our cruise last year, where there was just the main dining room, Disney have themed restaurants. So on the Disney Wonder, there are three themed restaurants. And essentially the concept of rotational dining is that you are assigned an eating time and then every night you and your server move to a different restaurant so everyone gets the chance to attend all three restaurants which is pretty cool so there is Triton's, Tiana's Place and Animator's Palette here on the Disney Wonders. We'll get to eat at all three of those which is pretty cool but you don't have to eat at the restaurants if you don't want. If you want to be a bit more flexible there is Cabana's which is a buffet so I believe that's open for breakfast, lunch and dinner but we'll let you know. So that's a buffet and then there are other quick service type foods there's pizza there's chicken strips and things like that a lot of, of those smaller food options around the pool deck so i mean you're definitely not going to go hungry but plenty of food options and if you are looking for something a bit fancier there is a restaurant which costs extra called parlo we've heard amazing things about it not on our budget but definitely if you are looking for a bit of a fancier dining experience that's definitely worth it and that one is also adults only so if you're looking to get away from the kids on the ship that's the way to go so we have boarded the ship here in circular key in sydney so that is where we have got on the ship so circular key for those who don't know it's a bit of a hub for ferries so ferries are a very popular mode of transport here in sydney so there are lots of ferries going past the boat today and it's it's pretty crazy because we've been on those ferries and when you're on them they feel pretty big but compared to just the, the nose of the ship they look tiny this ship is huge and I, I've never seen a ship docked here this big a fun fact about this ship is that its length is longer than Main Street in Magic Kingdom Florida that is how big the ship is that we're standing on all right guys, we're settled in the cabin, we've done the safety drill, and now we wait to hear that highly anticipated horn that is unique to Disney Cruises. It happened! Encore, encore. I think the kind of historic nature of what we're doing is really starting to set in. I mean, so many people have turned out just to watch the Disney Wonder leave Circular Quay here in Sydney and set sail for its first ever sailing in Australian waters. It's a really big deal. It's been all over the news, heaps of people watching. We've got Mickey and Minnie down on the deck waving goodbye to everyone watching the ship depart. It's just really setting in that this is a really historic moment for Disney in Australia and we're just so grateful to be a part of it. And just like that guys, the Disney Wonder has sailed out of Sydney Harbour and we're on, we're on the high seas. <laughs> we are off. We cannot wait to continue to explore the ship, but first it's time for some more food. We have dinner tonight at Triton's restaurant, which is one of the rotational dining options. So we're headed there now and also I'm pretty keen to peruse the shop, which supposedly opens about an hour after you leave the port for tax reasons, but we've had a peek through the windows. Desperate for merch? Yeah. <laughs> Some of the stuff looks pretty cool, but first, a feed. So something interesting is that normally on a Disney cruise you have the sail away party as you depart the port. But on the Sydney, at least the Sydney, I'm not sure about the other Australian ones, our sail away party isn't until 10.30pm and that is something to do with the port authority and all the noise. So that's a bit sad but we're definitely going to have a bit of a party at 10.30pm. We're just glad we got to hear the horn as we pulled out of the port. 
definitely time now to check out the shops because they are open and there's heaps of specific merchandise to these Australia and New Zealand sailings which is super exciting. Now guys, my outfit of the cruise is very likely going to be this spirit jersey that we got from our recent trip to the Disneyland Paris parks. If you would like to watch those videos, we'll stick them up there. That was a really, really fun time. We had an amazing dinner at Trident's. We got to meet our servers who are going to be the same servers we have for the next four nights, which is pretty cool. The way the rotational dining works as well, so you do order as opposed to cabanas where it's a buffet and you go up and pick what you want, but you can order as many things off the menu as you want. So if there are two appetizers you want to try, you can order both appetizers. If there are two desserts you want to try, you can order both desserts. And our waiter also said that if you order something and you don't like it, let him know and you can order something else. So uh, for us personally, we're going to try and not do that because we don't like to waste food. But if you are a picky eater and you say wanting to try something new and you don't like it, it's good to know. But now we're off to see our first Broadway style show on the ship, The Golden Mickeys. Guys, we just got back to our room after the Golden Mickeys and we were met with our first tail animal of the cruise. If you don't know, I think on most cruises, not just Disney, often you'll come back to the room and the housekeepers will have made some sort of like animal out of the towels. And we have a massive crab. I, th I thought it was a big spider, but no, it's a massive crab and some chocolates on the bed, you know, because we haven't eaten enough. But of course, we're gonna eat them because they're there. So as Rosh said, we just finished the Golden Mickeys and it was incredible. So that was one of three kind of Broadway style shows as they call them on the Disney Wonder and it was really really good. The whole concept is it is an award show for Disney history essentially. So the best hero, the best villain, the movie that started it all and there were heaps of different musical performances. It was really really cool. Unfortunately we couldn't film. I think that's pretty common with all the shows on Disney cruises. However we'll see if we can find anything on the internet to insert here to show you guys because it was just amazing. And now We've got one more very important thing to do today to close out our first day here on the Disney Wonder. And of course, it's Mickey's Sail Away Party. Disney Wonder, make some What a great first day here on the Disney Wonder. We can't wait to see what tomorrow has in store. But first, we need to get out of these clothes because it's time for bed. Wow. <laughs> wow, that worked well. How cool are these? <laughs> so now it's time for us to go to bed because we've got a massive day two in store for us tomorrow. We'll see you then. Night night. Welcome to day two on the Disney Wonder. Let's go get some breakfast. We have come to Cabana's for breakfast this morning. Full breakfast buffet. I've gone a bit on the sweet side. I'm sure that won't last the next few days, but we've got some famous Mickey waffles, but not just Mickey waffles. There are also churro Mickey waffles. I'm very excited for these churro waffles. I think they're pretty famous and well-known on Disney cruises, and I don't think you always get them, so I think we're pretty lucky. We have picked up our complimentary charms from White Caps. We haven't really looked into this too much. I'm not sure if you get one every day or what's kind of the, the origin behind it, but we got a little bear charm each. I'm not sure what we'll do with them, but it was free, so. <laughs> We've now popped our head into the atrium area and down below we can see four princesses doing a meet and greet. We have Belle, Ariel, Princess Tiana and Cinderella. So that's cool. And then on this level that we're standing on now, we have one of the captains. Captain Mickey. Now also fun fact for you, I believe that there are five captains on this ship, the ship captain, 
Captain Mickey, Captain Minnie, and then I think we'll be seeing Captain Jack Sparrow and Captain Hook on Pirate Night. That'll be cool. Okay, we've been to Cabana's for lunch on our first day, but we've come back on a main sailing day to see what they have to offer. And there is a Mexican corner, so we're pretty, pretty hyped. I have a very big variety. I have a beef burrito, some beef ravioli, some fries and some mac and cheese. Guys, I am going to eat my money's worth. This cruise was not cheap, so I'm going to eat everything I possibly can, and I'll worry about the consequences later. We've only been on the ship a day and a half, but we've already consumed more food than we probably ate in the last week of our budget travels. So we've been trying to take the stairs a lot. And also something we've noticed on this cruise and our last cruise, it's very hard to get a lift, even though there are so many of them. So we're taking the stairs, but it's great because you get to see all of the little details, like these artworks across the stairwells. So it's pretty cool. And we're on the hunt for some hidden Mickeys as well. Thanks, down. Okay, so we've seen heaps of characters around the ship, but I think it's time that we meet some of them. Sorry to interrupt, but we'd like to know what you're doing with that data pad. Nothing suspicious. <laughs> You've just earned double surveillance. Wait, do I say Natasha or Black Widow? What do you, what do you think she prefers? <laughs> How are you doing today? Good. How are you good? I'm wonderful. Thank you very much for asking. I can make a very good peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Nice. And then Hawkeye told me how to throw it at the right angle. So when I have Steve and Sam having their arguments, it stops us straight away. So we've done a lot of wandering around the ship and exploring and obviously eating, you know, I won't lie. But it's time to check out some of the many activities on board and we're going to start with a learn to draw class. And we made sure we picked the one that's 18 class because we need a little bit of a break for the kids. So it turns out we are drawing Baby Groot today at the learn to draw class. Now we've come to the pub called Crown and Finn and it is this swanky looking little pub if I do say so. They're playing jazz renditions of classic Disney songs. It's actually really, really cool. It's a really cool place to come and lounge around. They've got some really comfortable looking leather lounges with those, you know, typical circular windows looking out onto the ocean. It's a cool place. After a very busy few days, I'm exhausted, so it's time for a coffee. And there is some free coffee on the ship near the soft drink fountains, but we've come to the Cove Cafe, which is actually an adults only cafe on the ship. They do a bunch of different coffees and specialty coffees. They also have different spirits and liqueurs, I believe. But we came for one reason only. I mean, free coffee is all we need. We're on a budget, but we could not resist big coffee art. Now you can get a bunch of different characters stamped on your coffee. We've got Captain Mickey, of course. That's a good hand. Now I believe every Disney cruise ship has a unique statue in the atrium. The Disney Wonder has Ariel. Tonight we'll be showing you the second rotational dining option which is Animator's Palette. Now Triton's was the fanciest of the three rotational dining options. Animator's Palette is a bit more kid friendly and apparently there'll be a little bit of a show as well. So we're very excited to mix it up, see something a little bit different and of course eat. We are back in our room now. Turnover has been done, so it is time for your daily towel animal. Well, I guess it's not an animal today, but towel also creation. Like a towel, it's our blanket thing. Correction again. It's a blanket. <laughs> blanket creation. Ignore the little Grogu. <laughs> we have Sorcerer Mickey's hat. That's pretty cool, guys. So tonight we had dinner at Animator's Palette and right from the entrance all the way through to the end of the meal, it was incredible. Probably my favorite experience on the ship so far. You enter into the restaurant and there's all the animations lining the walls. It's really, really cool. So like Trident, it was a three course meal. I mean, you can have as many courses as you want. They'll keep bringing you food if you want it, but really a three course meal, which was absolutely delicious, absolutely stuffed. But before we ordered our food, when we sat down, they had a little piece of paper on our table with the outline of a person 
and we were instructed to draw a person, a creature, or a character in those lines before we ordered our dinner. And then at the end of the night there was a bit of a show and the stars of the show were all our drawings and they became animated and it was absolutely incredible. Now we've had our art brought to life before, particularly in Japan is what comes to mind, but I have never seen drawings become actually animated and they were dancing and walking and doing a whole bunch of stuff it was super super cool and not only were they animated they put them into Disney scenes they were dancing with Snow White they were following Simba, Timon and Pumbaa dancing it was just it was really incredible it was a lot of fun definitely the highlight of the trip so far and for tonight's entertainment we are back up here on deck nine it's pretty cold but tonight's show has a little bit more superhero power That Marvel show was very, very good. It had a lot more than I expected and it went for longer than I expected. There were some timeline discrepancies. I won't spoil it. I won't spoil any of the Marvel movies, but let's just say some characters were alive when they shouldn't be and some characters were in certain timelines with other characters but the stunts were awesome the pyrotechnics were really really cool it's just a great show and if you are ever thinking about going on the disney wonder i would definitely recommend seeing that show you can't miss it it was that good and it had everyone definitely every well-known marvel character including some of the new ones and it was relevant in terms of new marvel movies too so Highly recommend that one. But for now, it's time to get some rest before we dock in Hobart tomorrow for day three. Good night. Welcome to day three on the Disney Wonder. And today we've docked in Hobart in Tasmania. It's a very random spot to dock, but we're just gonna wander off around the port area for a little bit and then jump back on the ship because we've got so much left to explore. It's not the best weather today in Tasmania. However, I believe this is good weather for Tasmania. It's quite windy, a bit chilly and a bit of rain, but like I said, we're just gonna have a little walk around the port, taking the beauty of the ship from the outside, which we haven't really got to do yet and then jump back on the ship and get back into all our activities. We also had an amazing start to the day, meeting Captain Mickey, of course, one of the, as Rosh mentioned, one of the five captains on the ship. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well, Hobart, it's been fun, but we're gonna head back onto the Disney Wonder because we still have so many things to do and see and people to meet. Up to deck 10. We're at the top of the ship and we're at the uh, like with the activities area. You got table tennis, foosball, and a half basketball court. There are just so many different food options here on the ship. It's really overwhelming because you want to try absolutely everything, but we've only really got four days, three meals a day. I mean, if you can fit in more than three meals, good on you. I always intend to and never can. But today I've gone for some nuggets and chips from Pete's Boiler Bites, which is just a kind of a small food stand near the pools. And they tend to sell things like chicken tenders, a hamburger, a cheeseburger, things like that. And they have some good plant-based options as well, like plant-based hot dogs and an Impossible Burger. So that's a good option. There's also Daisy's Delights, which is a healthier option. They have sandwiches and salads and things like that. And then there's also Pinocchio's Pizzeria, which sells pizza, obviously. Not sells, it's all included. Those three options are all around the pool deck area. So kind of more of a grab and go type system. And then obviously Cabanas is open every meal during the day. And if you're looking for the unlimited soft serve cones, they are up here by the pool as well. Come to mama. <laughs> a hot tip if you are going on a cruise, whether it be Disney or otherwise, is if you are at a port, it's a port day, you've docked somewhere, spend a bit of time on the ship because it is super, super quiet. 
I didn't expect Hobart to be a super popular port, which I don't think it is, but it is noticeably quieter here on the ship. We did some Marvel trivia earlier this morning and it was pretty empty. The pools are pretty empty. It's just much nicer and more relaxing. So if there are some sort of activities you're wanting to do that are always too busy, for example, like the sports courts are always pretty busy, stay on the ship on a port day and it'll be a lot easier for you to get those things done. Now tonight is the coveted pirate night here on the Disney Wonder. There's going to be pirate themed everything. Captain Jack is going to be out for some meet and greets. We have Captain Hook now for some meet and greets. And we even got these little bandanas, Pirates of the Caribbean bandanas dropped off when our room cleaning was done today. So everyone's getting dressed up. I think there'll be some pirate themed food and activities at dinner tonight. And there's a bit of a pirate themed party going on later. So it should be super fun. And because it is pirate night tonight, all of the characters are out dressed in their pirate outfits. We have officially left Hobart and are making our way back to Sydney. We have a full sea day tomorrow. So plenty more footage from the ship but tonight. It's pirate night and we're gonna have another dinner at Animators Palette. And then tomorrow night will be our third and final different rotational dining option which is Tiana's place so we're very excited for that but we're also very excited to go back to Animator's Palette. What an amazing pirate themed dinner that was probably the best food of the cruise so far that kind of Caribbean almost kind of Indian influenced food as well was so incredible and delicious we then made our way over to do 90s music trivia one of the things I'm loving a lot about this cruise is this whole rotational dining experience and having a shared table. We've like really get on really well with our people on our table. We're having such a good time. We went from dinner and did trivia with them and it's just been a really good way to meet people. I think you kind of get paired up with people who are similar ages so it's a little bit a lot of fun and it's a nice way like I said to meet different people on the ship but now we have Frozen the Musical which is our second Broadway style show here on the Disney Wonder and then we have a pirate party to attend. What an amazing night, you guys. Something that is definitely a hit on the Disney Wonder is all the entertainment. I'm absolutely loving it. The Broadway type shows, the nighttime entertainment. Tonight we were lucky enough to see Frozen, which was incredible. It was essentially like a shortened version of the musical or the, or the movie. It's about an hour and 15 minutes long. The incredible use of puppets. Too. It was just really, really incredible. It was definitely a lot more popular than the Golden Mickeys, which was incredible. So I'd make sure you get to the shows early because people are there, the seats are all taken and it fills up quick. But Frozen was absolutely incredible. Definitely a big hit with the kids. It's obviously a super popular movie. And then from Frozen, we headed up to deck nine for the Pirates in the Caribbean deck party. And it went off, <laughs> guys. They're blasting the music. We had all the characters in their pirate outfits having a dance party. The Captain Hook tried to crash the party, but of course, Captain Mickey swung in to save the day and they had a bit of a dance off, which was really cool. But the music was really great. It's just been a really great time and the entertainment is definitely a big plus. Our cruise director on the ship is Australian and when on the street is he's had a bit of a hand in making sure there are those Australian touches in everything that goes on. It's been a lot of ACDC. We had the nutbush. Rosh is pretty convinced the nutbush is a very Australian thing. So we definitely ended the night with a bit of a dance to the nutbush. It's just been really, really incredible. We've been very impressed. One thing I will say if you are coming on the Disney Wonder, the nighttime shows, at least on our cruise, have all been at about 10.30 at night. So if you are bringing your kids, make sure you schedule those naps in or adults schedule your naps in because it is a long, long day, but definitely worth staying up for. What a big day three here on the Disney Wonder. So now it's time to get some sleep because we have our final day tomorrow and we've still got so much we want to do. So we're gonna go to sleep, but we'll check in with you tomorrow. Good morning, you guys, to our final day here on the Disney Wonder. We've woken up to a pretty rough sea day. It is very, very choppy out there. We are going all over the place. A lot of the pool water has spilled out onto the deck. We're walking around, it feels a little bit like we're drunk, but just a bit rocky. But we're gonna get some breakfast and kick off this great final day. Beautiful. 
beautiful day to be in Zee, right? So So guys, there are plenty of activities to do on the ship and I've just completed the Art of a Theme Show tour which is a free tour available on selective days of the cruise. It started off with a few fun facts around the carpet of the ship which is actually really interesting because each level pretty much has a different carpet and for very specific reasons. So we started off at Palos and the carpet there is very boring on purpose because they don't want to attract children because it's an adults only restaurant which I thought was really interesting. And then from Palos you went down a few decks to the kids club or the Oceaneers club which is actually a really really cool area and if you get the chance and they have an open house I'd encourage you to go and check it out because there are four different themed areas in there. You've got the Toy Story area where everything is big because you're a toy. You've got the Avengers area which is really cool too and at the time I was there Spider-Man was doing a bit of a meet and greet so that was fun. You've also got a frozen themed area which is really unique with a bit of ice and snow through the window and then lastly you've got like a ship area where the kids can learn the ropes of how to run a ship so that was really cool and from there we went down a few decks again to the adults area I'm here on deck three and I just want to talk about the carpet real quick so deck three is adults only after 9 p.m. and you can kind of tell it's like a lounge area this is where the pub is the cocktail bar but of course kids can access it and do access it in the morning time now the carpet, if you look one way, it looks like it's Sorcerer Mickey's hat, but if you look the other way, it's a cocktail. That's Disney magic. Something else that I learned in my tour around the ship is that of course we know that Ariel sits in the atrium, but right behind her is Triton, which is her father, and he's sitting behind her because he's protecting her. And then the whole marine environment that comes with Ariel is represented in the atrium too. In the carpet you've got circle shapes that represent bubbles and then the bubbles travel up outside the glass of the elevator up to the ceiling. Guys it is so windy and rocky today at sea that they've closed the pools because the water kept overflowing and splashing onto the decks. It's wild. In fact, we've actually had to go a little bit off course to avoid some of the rough seas because so many people aren't feeling too good. Guys, one of the best parts about this cruise is the sheer number of different trivias there are. We've done Disney trivia, there are different levels. We've done Disney songs trivia, Australian trivia, Marvel trivia, but we have not had any success yet. I think we've done four or five different trivias now and we've not won one of the coveted medals which you can only get here on the cruise ship. They have all different ones. There's Chip and Dale. I think there's been a Daisy Duck medal. Everyone's out there to try and collect them all. We even tried pairing up with our people from our rotational dining table who have won multiple medals on the cruise and we still did not win so we're gonna try and hit up a few more today. We just did a general Disney trivia started well didn't end well but today we also want to do a brain teasers one I think there's a, a 2000s music trivia there is Marvel trivia so we're gonna hit them all up hopefully win ourselves one of those medals and we're now standing in front of the Walt Disney Theatre which is of course the theatre we've seen all the shows so far and where we'll be seeing Disney Dreams tonight which we're very excited for. It is a pretty amazing theatre. It seats I believe up to 977 people and I think it spans in height across three decks so it's huge. How can you have something so big and have Broadway like shows on a ship in the middle of the ocean? Unfortunately, the ship is a little less rocky now and hopefully it stays that way because I can't imagine trying to perform on a stage when you're doing these ones all day because we've barely been able to walk around the ship this morning so I can't even imagine trying to dance. And if you are looking for any of those basic amenities, they are situated in white caps. There's a little corner of the store with kind of medicines and basic things like that. And while there is a lot of merchandise, Specific for the Australian and New Zealand sailings, there is also a heap of just general Disney Wonder merchandise. For most people, it is their first time on the Disney Wonder, so that's definitely worth picking up as well, as well as the Australian specific merchandise. I'd like to thank my mum and my dad, my brother and my sister, my partner Rosh. I'd like to thank Captain Mickey and Minnie for, for choosing me for this coveted award, and to all our 831 current subscribers. Couldn't have done it without you. So they have temporarily shut off a lot of the decks because of the movement. Although it is feeling 10 times better than this morning, but outside there's definitely still some quite big swell going on. So I can understand why they've shut the decks off. Guys, we're now waiting to line up to watch the most important race of the season, Jack Jack's Diaper Dash, which is a race where little, like literal babies in diapers race towards their parents and whoever crosses that finish line, well, you know the rest. <laughs> Another trivia, but somewhat across 
just this massive dance party going on in the atrium with all the gang. They were all there right in the crowd having a boogie, which is really fun. I have to say, there's been so much dancing on this trip and the kids have all really loved it, so it's been really fun to watch. And guys, I have one more carpet fun fact for you. On the levels where there are state rooms, there are stars on the carpet and the tip of the star is always pointing towards the front of the ship. So you always know where you are in the ship, which I think is really helpful. Now it's time to enjoy our last of the three rotational dining restaurants here on the Disney Wonder, Tiana's Place. show of the cruise, Disney Ever After. And that's a wrap for our final night. I'm here with our final blanket sculpture which is a penguin, how cute is he? But we had such a good night. Dinner at Tiana's place was so much fun. There was kind of jazz type music playing the whole dinner. Everyone then got up after dinner and had a dance and kind of did the limbo and went around the room. Tiana and Lewis were there greeting everyone at their tables. It was a lot of fun. And we then headed over to watch the show Disney Dreams which was incredible. Again, it was similar to the Golden Mickeys where it was a bunch of scenes from different Disney movies under the premise about this girl who's worried as she gets older she won't be able to dream anymore. It was really, really good and a perfect way to end the trip. our debarkation day here on the Disney Wonder. We have one final meal before we have to get off the ship and we're back at Tiana's place for a really nice breakfast. Everyone was assigned a breakfast location on this last day. However, you can also go to Cabana's if you'd like to just help yourself, but we're pretty excited for one final meal. I don't wanna go. And just like that, we are off the Disney Wonder. We had such an incredible time. I highly recommend you book it. It's absolutely worth it. It was so much fun. So many activities, amazing food, and the cast members are just so nice and incredible. They all knew our names, like greet us in the whole way. It was just amazing. The cast members definitely made it like just that tiny little bit more magical. And there are so many of them always greeting you with a smiling face. Just an awesome time. And uh, I can't wait to do another Disney cruise one day, hopefully. Obviously, as an Australian, we live so far away from everywhere else. The closest Disney experience to stay tonight is at least a 10 hour plane trip. So this is just a very convenient way to get that bit of Disney magic in your life without having to travel so far. And if that's something you're interested in, I would definitely, definitely look into doing a Disney cruise. If you do enjoy Disney content, we have a whole playlist of Disney content from Tokyo Disney, Disney World, Disneyland in California, Disneyland in Paris. So if you do want to see any of those videos, we'll link that up here. But otherwise, that's it for us today. If you liked the video, please give it a like because that'll mean it'll be pushed out to more people and they'll find our channel and it'll mean a lot to us. And we hope you enjoyed watching it. We had a great time making it and we had a great time on the cruise. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because in just a few weeks time, we are continuing our travels and we've still got plenty of videos to come from before our cruise, which we are busy editing away. So plenty of travel content to come, including our Disney's California adventure vlog. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.